Hello. So I wanted to uh, talk today about cirrhosis of the liver and uh, what it's like to live with it and kind of give my story a little bit. Um, so basically cirrhosis of the liver. Oh, and by the way, I'm not a doctor or a medical professional in any way. So this is just my experiences. Um, cirrhosis of the liver is hardening of the liver uh, c covered in scar tissue. Uh, what causes this? Well, for me, is I did drink for a couple years. Uh, it was like two and a half years or so. So I know most people think that people get liver failure by drinking for 40, 50 years. Well, it's not true. Um, people very young from the ages of 25 to 35 are getting this now. Um, I'm 42. I would have never think, thought that only from drinking for about two, two and a half years would cause my liver to put my life in danger. Um, well, basically, uh, so what happened, my story, um, I did drink, like I said, for about two years. And again, if you need any help with fixing with that situation, if you're drinking more than you should, or you notice yourself doing it every day, reach out, talk to somebody. Yeah, you will find out that more people are understanding than you think they are. Um, and I'll explain that a little bit through my story and how I've met some wonderful people that made me feel um, like I was important and made me feel uh, welcome throughout it. But I will get to that. Um, also, depression's a big one. Uh, that was my thing. I kind of went into depression from a situation and then I wound up uh, uh, drinking and I didn't touch a drop of alcohol for 15 to 16 years prior to this drinking of the past two, the two, two and a half years. Um, well, anyway, so basically uh, I had gotten to the point where I was drinking about pint a night probably for the last year of it. And it got to the situation where I started not feeling right and I just didn't felt, could feel good. I started noticing losing my, my muscle mass. Um, I used to, you know, be pretty decently built and all of a sudden my arms are getting scrawnier and, you know, my legs are getting scrawnier, but I'm getting this big belly. And, and I always notice a little bit of a lump kind of right here under the chest. And, of course, I kind of had a fear of what it was uh, throughout it, but I didn't want to go to the doctors because then you got to admit you have a problem or you have to admit, you know, that, you know, you did this to yourself. And, and all those worries go through your mind. So, and that's where this is important is if what's stopping you from seeking help for whether you're beyond the point where your medical needs are in trouble or not um, and just afraid what people will think and what they'll think of you give people a try you'll find out that there are a lot of them are a lot more understanding than we think they are but again so eventually it got to the point I quit drinking um, this was the beginning of April of last year 2022 and I had um still had this extra weight sleeping was very difficult uh it was like everything was like pushing on my sides and stuff uh, I got to a point where I couldn't walk about 10 feet without being able to breathe um I was gasping for air and I I thought that maybe I had some kind of cold or bronchitis or something and and I kind of, you know, ignored through it. And I was like, oh, well, you know, I'll just, you know, take care of myself and stop drinking and do all that. And which I started doing. And my legs had swollen up to like this um, as well, my ankles and such. So finally got to the point where I got tired of it. And I went in um, to seek help. And, you know, I told him the situation and that I had been drinking and the doctor came back and said that my right lung was completely filled with fluid 
and I am in um, liver failure. Um, my liver has gotten to the point where it's not functioning and not doing its daily, you know, the activities that it's supposed to do where it cleans out the bile and, and filters everything throughout your body. So then they wound up uh, doing a CT scan. They found a bunch of fluid on my stomach too as well, which we kind of knew. And it was pushing all my organs over to the left side of my body. So what had happened was they transferred me to a liver hospital, well, liver specialist hospital. Um, and I went in there and they sucked out the fluids from it. Uh, they pulled, and if you don't know, they use a pretty long needle uh, to go into your lung. And they removed two and a half liters of fluid off the right lung. And then about five and a half liters of fluid off my stomach. And then I was on medicine to, um, uh, diuretics to make you, you know, urinate the excess fluid out of your body. Uh, so, and then it, I was told, I was given the different medicines. There was a few different ones that they give to help protect you, um, One's called lactulose, and that is designed to remove ammonia from your body so that it doesn't wind up um, damaging your brain and causing brain failure or uh, or uh, a coma, which is one of the causes of death with liver failure. Um, and then Zyfaxin, which is a like really potent uh, antibacterial, uh, 